So, following on from uh, the, the last vlog, what, when you go out and talk to your customer, do you talk to them about? Well, you can say, are you gonna buy my product? And this is a really stupid question because fundamentally you're giving a customer a choice to say yes or no. Unless they know about your project, they've got an immediate pain, they've got an immediate need, they're gonna go no, yeah? So you get no useful information. When somebody says no, it tells you very little other than I don't want your product right now for whatever reason. If they say yes, you only get a little bit more information. So when you're going out and you're talking to customers, when you're doing your market research, you, the first thing that you want to do is you want to be asking open questions. Um, so for example, um, you could say, um, why, would you, why would you buy a tablet? What are the reasons why you'd buy a tablet? And there you're giving people a great big open expanse to say almost anything that they want. And the difference between asking questions in a real situation and asking people questions using Google Forms or, or Wufoo Forms or any of the other form type software is you don't have to think too much about how to structure. You can go out and you can ask people real questions and as you see the responses that they're making, you can then ask appropriate follow-up questions. And this is the way that I generally tend to work when I'm going out in investigating a new market for the first time. You ask lots of broad, open questions. You're trying to understand the landscape, yes? Because people hire me as a consultant to give them advice, I don't have any emotional involvement in the investment in the business. Yes, to me, I don't have that sinking feeling when people say, this is a crap idea. I don't have the, whoa, people love my idea when they tell me it's great. It's like, I want data. And so I ask lots of questions to try and understand what are the really important things that people need to know, what people are gonna be asking me, what I need to know, so that I can then build a strategy ar around that. So the big lessons from this uh, log vlog are leave your emotions at home, go out, ask open questions, and above all, talk to real people in real situations on the street, yeah? Wherever your customers are in real life, go and find them and talk to them. Uh, one thing I, too, too good not, not to share right now, um, I was talking to um, an incubator, Code Army in uh, Kuala Lumpur the other day, and they were saying that of all the people that have gone through their incubator over the last five, five years, I think the majority do something like 20 to 30 customer interviews. They had one chap though who did over 400 customer interviews before he started his business. And guess what? Which of those was the most successful? Duh, yeah, it's the guy who did 400 customer interviews. Yeah, he succeeded because he knew the pain, he knew what his customers wanted, and he was then able to build a business that delivered it. So, I'm Dennis Oakley, this is Dennis Oakley Strategy Consulting. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel or head over to dennis-oakley.com Dennis and see all my strategy goodies that I got there for you. Great, thanks for being here.